Piru pitkä täys 150. Oikee täys 120. Vasemmalle kolme ja oikee hidas takavino. Jaha. Ai saatana. Sattuko? Ei. Se on hyvä. Se on hyvä. Se on hyvä. Se on hyvä. Se Flat left over jump, 50. Flat left over jump. Go flat right over jump, 120. Six left minus over crest, 100. Keep right. <laughs> Into short right five, ASE right four minus. Into right four. You all right? You okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vaseri jouhee risteys ja nyt kun seitsemän oikein nopee sumppuu. Seitsemän oikein eri. Vähän osuu siihen sumppuun sitten. Lähteekö käyntiin? Onko tää ihan rikki? Uh, we have rolled on the stage and we have to retire. We are both okay, but the car is not okay. You can see it, we went off and... and uh, but it was a little, a little bit funny because I had a hydraulic problem and I was not 100% concentrated. I was shifting with the manual gear shifting and the diffs were not working correctly. That was a part of the reason, but okay, anyway, I could have slowed down a bit. But others would also fall oh, victim to the stage. Mitsubishi's young Mille person Mille was possibly Mille distracted Mille by the marshals, Mille. warning him of Grunholm's accident. Two fins, two retirements within meters of each other. Mikko Hirvonen ajaa Jukojärvi ykkösellä. Pohjat paikka äskeisessä tilanteessa rikkoo autonsa tuulilasin. Urja kakkosella menee rikki sitten paljon enemmän muutakin. Hurja vauhtinen ulosajo. Monta kertaa auto katon kautta ympäri. Ja Hirvosen kisa päättyy tähän. Tämä on Hirvosen uran pahin ja vaarallisimman näköinen onnettomuus. Mutta autokunta kömpii romusta ulos. Vaikkakin hieman pyörällä päästään.
Tutto a, posto. tutto a posto andiamo a vedere lui madonna ma è una vacca portata è di sotto Difficult conditions again, Angus. Look at the standing water. Oh, huge, huge crash there from Solberg. What a monster. Oh, Phil. Okay. Huh? All right. Petter and Phil Mills out that car okay. And on the start line is Deval two minutes after them. He won't know what's over this crest. This is it. He's in fourth gear, slowing down. Look at the debris, but our thoughts are with Petter. Deval's going to struggle through this stage seeing that carnage. And there it is. Petter and Phil receiving some medical attention, but Petter's okay walking around. How did they walk away from that? And that is Phil Mills' side, just absolutely squashed. Let's take a look at this crash again with Solberg. Car just goes light over the crest, understeers to the right hand side, hits one of these concrete Hinkelsteins, and over it goes. That's where it impacted. Down the road, 50 metres, is where it landed on its roof, and that's the end result. Lucky they're both okay. Täys kaheksa. Oikein hidas. Kaksi ja vasen hidas. Takavino. We have, uh, we have rolled on the stage. And, uh... can, you, can you turn around? Yeah. Yeah. Which way? Tonne päin missä mä luun. Which way? Which way? Tonne mä luun. Hei, se, 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 se me ojaa. Which way? Tonne, oikein. Direction! gör. Vi får en amatörvideo som berättar det här. Och det här är alltså nog en av de värsta kraschen jag har sett i rally sammanhang och det säger också Mäkinen att det är. Vi är okej, vi är okej. Kari är färdig. Nästa kornar är 21.
Ja, en skakad Mäkinen, det ser ni. Och då har ju Risto Mannisen, Mäkis olika också i baknacken. Den här bilen är i stort sett bara att avskriva. Kai Lindström skakar på huvudet. Tommy Mackinnon was finally getting some good feedback from his Mitsubishi, but wasn't too hopeful of a major attack on the lead. But a point or two here were a very real possibility. kilometers into stage five all that became academic Mackinnon had slammed into the cliff on the left and flipped upside down with smoke pouring from the wreckage fans rushed to help Mackinnon and his co-driver Madison Mackey who was still stuck in the car But the stage was still live. In a matter of minutes, Richard Burns appeared. The rescuers waved to slow him down. To meet your 20 flat lay, 70 flat lay, 40 flat lay, in a bit 50, slight lay. The fear was of more fire and the fact that the car was balanced right on the edge of a 100 meter drop. Danger also was from the cars still competing on the stage. Back at service, the concern was immense as news filtered through of the rescue and the attempt to stop the stage. Before long, the rally rescue helicopter had dropped a paramedic to attend to Risto Madison Mackey, who was complaining of back pain. Mackin and two had a checkup. The fear, though, was that by moving Madison Mackey, it might dislodge the car. With the stage stopped and a Land Rover tied to the car, Risto was winched clear for the short trip to a Jaxio hospital and safety. He's unlikely to compete for the rest of the year. Back at his hotel, Mackinnon was relieved for his co-driver. For the last we, little bit we heard our back, lower backs, both both of us, and uh, of course Risto's back was a little bit more painful, and and uh, we decided to to take him straight to the hospital to to make sure that everything is all right. I'll certainly be taking a close look at the scene where the accident happened, and uh, I've already seen a photograph, and uh, it looks like. If he had been, if he had the car had gone over the edge, then it 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 could have been very very serious, and that's that is a worry in Corsica. Sore and shaken, Mackinnon flew straight home to Finland for a checkup. Die een foutje maakt. En moet u kijken, hij rijdt tegen de ambulance aan en een auto van de wedstrijdleiding. En het is maar goed dat de mensen er niet.